How's it going guys? It's Poetry Side and welcome back to the episode of the Ireland Campaign in Europe Universalis 4. We're live on Twitch again and we're going to go ahead and hop right into it here. Um, we got Pluja in chat and uh, maybe a couple other people will show up. But in any case, let's go ahead and get, uh, get going here. So, actually just uh, today, as of the day I'm streaming this, came out with a announcement video sort of talking about an idea for a new series I have. Um, essentially, I'm kind of thinking that I want to do a, a new series uh, after we finish this one, uh, which would involve cutting this one off maybe a little early once we get the achievement, but uh, that's okay, I think. Um, but the idea I have, I want to kind of share this to see if you guys enjoy this idea or not. The idea I essentially had is uh, doing a challenge run, uh, except I sort of set the criteria for the challenge on my own. It's not an actual achievement or anything. Um, where essentially I would limit myself to uh, only being able to own one province per trade node in the whole world, except for the, the trade node that we start in. Uh, so as an example, if we started as like, let's say we started as like uh, Denmark, we could conquer all the provinces in the Lubeck trade node directly and maybe own like some vassals that own other stuff. But beyond that, we'd have to own only one province, and, and that's the maximum we could own. We could only own one province in the Baltic uh, node, one province in the North Sea node, one province in the English Channel node, and the German nodes. I don't know. I've been thinking about that, and it's kind of a weird idea, but I think it is one that I might try out. Uh, in any case, we'll talk about that more in a second, but uh, let's go ahead and get right back into it and figure out what was going on here. That's what we'll be replacing this series with once we get the achievement, but... In any case, let's just kind of get going now. Conversion complete. That's I've never seen this notification before. The center of information has converted all eligible provinces to Protestant. Weird. What about what about Cumbria? You didn't convert that one. Sure. Tech time. Um. Hmm. But yeah, I don't know. So I would like to see some comments possibly talking about that I idea for the uh, the series that this uh, that will replace this one. Uh, a series, oh yeah, it would be a series where we would try to, uh, where we'd have, um, we'd, it'd be sort of like a, a tall campaign, trying to build tall or whatever uh, in European Universe House 4, except it wouldn't really be necessarily tall. Uh, it would just be like we would own we'd have to make sure that we'd have to like find someone who has a really powerful node Aragon is actually the one I think is the strongest for that achievement if you play as Aragon you already have like a bunch of trade in one of the best nodes in the game all your you're still eligible because everything you own is in the node except for some of the Neapolitan land but you could get rid of that um, so it could be fun to do an Aragon run, be Aragon, and take over the whole Genoa node directly, and then a few others in different places around it, you know? Because uh, that's the point, is choosing the best provinces to get you the most trade with just one province. And then you'd have to have enough, like, ports to be able to build up shipyards and get a big navy so you could get more trade power. I think it'd be really fun to see how much trade, how powerful with trade can you get if you can only have one province uh, with each... Um, if you can only have one province with uh, 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 per trade node, it, it, it's an interesting, uh, an intriguing idea to me. Okay, uh, our colonies are about to finish. This is the main downside of not being able to, of um, what was I gonna say, of not being able to really finish a campaign to completion, or not. I mean, we could if we want, but like I said, I think we'll kind of phase this one out at some point uh, is the fact that then you feel like colonization is like a waste of an idea group because it's like you know it's like uh what is tadisac is that the one next to it uh, i actually i will do that um it, yeah it kind of gives you like um it kind of makes it seem like uh going you know with exploration ideas is not really the best thing to do but i don't know it's whatever it's fun <laughs> I and mean, what else are we gonna do Okay. I mean, we don't really have any other wars we can even be doing right now, do we? 
I guess Norway, right? But uh, and Denmark is like our rival, right? Or they were. They're out of Muscovy, though. I mean, we could probably still like beat them up and take some provinces that aren't very good, though. So I don't know. I'm not very interested in that. Let's just go up to speed four and uh, and whatnot, because I think I don't mean I don't see a really a real reason why we shouldn't. We have claims on like a ton of England, <laughs> which is nice. And yeah, I don't think we're too actually. I don't actually think we're too far from being able to finish uh, this achievement. It'll be like probably like three more wars or something like that. Okay, let's go ahead and recall you from there and send you to here. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that one has finished now. This one will be finishing soon. Uh, let's go ahead and take this tech. I'm not going to worry about trying to min-max the uh, tech too much right now. No reason to wait, really, anyways. I suppose we'll just go on speed 5, honestly. I don't really see much else that we should even be trying to do right now. Um, do we have any exploration missions, possibly? No, none that would uh, be reasonable to try to complete our ships. Uh, to try and circumnavigate would be suicide. They would just die. So, whatever. Okay. Alright, there's the other colony. Uh, we just need this one, and then it should be, uh, after these two finish, that'll finish up our colonial nation here. So we will at least have one colonial nation at the end of the game. Or at the end, by the time we get the achievement, rather. Not the end of the game. Uh, and yeah, and we will be getting some money from the from that. We still don't even have any provinces in the in the English Channel trade node, actually. Um, so, not really any use in trying to uh, move our, you know, we can't move our trade port there, but even if we could, we wouldn't uh, yet. It would probably hurt us more than it would help us in the short term. Yeah, not too much going on right now. We kind of just got to wait it out and uh, see what happens here. We could go ahead and uh, raise up our army a little bit, but I think I'm going to wait until we get to war again. Uh, rise of a Pretender, that's not good. That means we need to do this. It's a 3-1-2 ruler that we have in Cumbria. We have a 3-3-5 heir. Alright, uh, that seems fine. We'll go ahead and move to there. Uh, he is a zealot. A zealot. Obviously, that's how you pronounce that. Obviously. No. Uh, I mean, that's fine. Not really super useful. At least it's not negative, though. Alright. They're going to have to come fight us in the fort. And uh, that seems fine to me. Shouldn't be any problem. And there you are. Uh, let's see. What I might actually do is, I want to see if we can consolidate. No, I still don't even have enough. I'm going to actually delete this one. Uh, bring us down to 16 infantry, and I'm going to bring us up to 6 cavalry. So just kind of maneuvering our, or, you know, changing the layout of our army a little bit. That's all. Shifting our emphasis a little bit. Um, this one seems fine. Get the burgers happy again, at least. No, send them to an existing colony this time. Oh, this colony went along real quick. Wow. I still don't get exactly how this actually works. Like, why does... why I don't get why it goes down over time. It's kind of weird to me. Whatever. Plutocratic coup. Let's go ahead and come in here, and we'll take away some Boiga land. There you are. There you are, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. Hey, we got one stability for free. Not going to complain about that. That's pretty darn good, actually. Uh, we do have the idea cost thing. Yeah, these are the ones I think I would have uh, in any case. Cumbria does have religious zeal. I figure that was why they weren't actually converting before or whatever. Um, yeah, we have no reason not to. Might as well go and do this. Land enforcement plus 50% is pretty much going to seal England's fate at this point. Uh, basically, 
no way they can defeat our army now. Um, and our, our navy is, uh, is decently strong too. Uh, in fact, if we have a chance, what is our our naval force? We have three ships. I wonder if we could draft ships for war. Hmm. It's kind of interesting, right? To me, it seems like a good idea, honestly. Hmm. Grand Bank Fisheries. We might as well go for those. Like, fish is not the greatest good, but, uh... I don't know. It's not too bad, either. And with the amount of goods produced, it's, like, basically doubled, so... Um... Hmm... What was I gonna say? Uh, what was I talking about just now? I forgot already. Yeah, we don't want to make any of those states. They won't be ours much longer. Uh, but anyways, uh, yeah, our army, we should, we should probably upgrade our army a little bit, uh, or expand our army, rather. Not really upgrading it. Uh, and the ships, that was the other thing, the ships. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll draft ships for war. Why not? Should give us, uh, should really, it's gonna buff up our, our navy quite a bit. I don't, where does it tell you that they're building? Here. The one thing I hate about it is that they build them all in one province. I, I don't really understand why that is. Why not spread it out to the other provinces that the, you know, uh, not the nobility, the burghers control. Kinda doesn't make sense to me. Uh, in any case, we are gonna get this idea as well. We get production efficiency. Things are coming along pretty well, I would say, right now. I might actually go ahead and, yeah, like, split up our armies and uh, start building them up separately. So, for instance, let's get you up to 10-4-4. Let's get you up to 1044 and uh, continue onwards. Austria just now embracing colonialism. <laughs> Very silly. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else do we got going on here? Well, the first, the first new ship is about to finish. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. We still have claims on, like, every English province here. <laughs> I think one thing we might do is, because we're going to have to wait a while anyways to really finish them off completely, I think we will probably release whales as a vassal and feed them Cornwall as well. And we'll just take everything else around that, uh, everything else that we have claims on. Um, the good thing about not going to, not having any other wars to do is that we have zero aggressive expansion with everyone in the world pretty much once we get to the point where um, it would be relevant. I didn't actually realize that uh, Centers of Reformation had a set range. Uh, that's something I feel like I probably should have known. Oh my god, I always forget that Morocco just destroyed Portugal. Everything else is eh, kind of normal. I mean, a little bit of Aragon got conquered, <laughs> including Saragossa. Uh, but... Yeah, I actually didn't realize that uh, the Protestant Centers of Reformation, or, or the either Center of Reformation, had a range, but it's kind of clear that it does. I mean, it told us, but first of all, like, look at this. It's kind of interesting how it's just like an actual, like, radius here that's kind of unseen, but kind of it's kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> in any case, we can take our next Diplo idea. Yeah, I think I will, um, I think I'll go ahead and take over... Hmm, I think I'll uh, feed a lot of land to Wales to get some Diplo Point uh, action in there, so it's not all admin. Okay, what year? What mar month? Uh, March of forty. So it's been next. It's next year. Not even that long for now. But just haven't turned in a while. Yeah, no, it's okay. You trauma. I haven't actually streamed in like a a good week, so. So it's no problem at all. I don't think you missed anything, actually. Uh, maybe one stream or two, but... Yeah, no worries, bro. Was it, bro? I'm just kidding. But, yeah, no no worries at all. Haven't been streaming a ton lately. It was the first week of school, of class, and I probably will be streaming even less now, but, uh... Oh, my God. Morocco can raid us because of the fact that they own so far up into... Portugal. Jeez. 
And now they're at war with Castile and are probably going to win. I mean, Morocco is pretty strong right now. Mm hmm. Okay. Truce with England's ended. I did not pay attention to the month and whatnot. It said March, but uh, it definitely ended in February. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. You're playing Rainbow Six Siege. I gotcha. I gotcha. Rainbow Six Siege is pretty fun. I've been playing a lot of that lately as well. Um, <clears throat> are there any last things we should do? I think I feel like we should get even a little more infantry. And uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. Well, that's fine. Well, this is good enough, I think. Um, I right, England, prepare to die. Let's see. Actually, let's check it out. How much army and navy do they have? Oh, we should unmothball our our navy, probably. Um, England has twenty thousand, so I have like double your army right now. You're about to get wrecked, bro. Get wrecked, bro. We do have a, a trade fleet going around. Let's bring it back to Lothian. Okay, nice. There we go. We don't have actually a explore or anything. Uh, we could grant an admiral ship. Doesn't seem like the greatest idea. Let's just get a hundred for now. I think that's okay. I do think we should get like an admiral or an explorer. We might as well just get an explorer. Uh, yeah, not gonna take that right now. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, let's declare war. We could call in Holland and France. I'm gonna call in only Holland, because I'm worried that France might want land. Uh, but Holland, sure, we can take and uh, bring in. And here we go. 2111. There you go, you go there, you go there. And it should be pretty easy here. Okay. Well, go ahead and, like, come over here, I guess, to the Dogger Bank. And, uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, look at that. Nice population rising up there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Holland has already got troops over here. That's pretty nice. It's completely unnecessary, but it's still nice. Okay, let's come over here. We did take out a loan, yeah. Fair. Do we have free war taxes? I oh, it's actually in the next stage now, that makes sense. I See, I haven't played this game in a while. Uh, not this campaign, at least. I've been doing the, the Netherland, yeah, Netherlands one pretty uh, consistently, but this one not so much. Man, England, you suck. There you go. Destroy their navy. Should be able to destroy them pretty easily. Yeah, look at that. You captured three ships as well. Pretty darn good. Alright. We're about to get our colonial nation. Irish Canada sounds good. Sounds good to me. Um, let's go ahead and bring you down here. I'm gonna leave Holland to No! Don't oh my god, you idiots, Holland. I don't I don't want you to be attaching to me. That's part of the problem. Yeah, that's the whole problem. Okay. Uh, let's real quick go ahead and siege down Gwened. Okay, should be pretty good. There you go. Get wrecked. Basically, your whole navy just got destroyed. How does that make you feel? Okay. Uh, bring you down to here now. Okay. 
New World Colonization Rights has expired. That is one that I always do as soon as I know that it is an option. Or, you know, as soon as it expires. Mm, I think we have to get them above, above uh, 30. Yeah. And then we take their money. <laughs> nice. Uh, how close are you to doing this? Okay, now I want you to come and attach to my other army. Looks like you aren't going to do that, though. Good thing I didn't need you. Alright. Well, England's about to be uh, full occupied. Nice. That was like one of the easiest wars yet. I mean, obviously it gets, it gets easier as you go along, so there's not really any surprise there. They actually have 20 ships still. They must have been hiding somewhere else. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I will... I'll lose stability right now. I think that's fine. Okay. Well, now we have full occupied them. So what do we do? That's a good question. We could basically do whatever we want with them now. They are at our mercy. Uh, so... If we take... As long as we take Yorkshire, we get access to this whole sea tile here. If we take Derbyshire, we get access to Oxfordshire. And beyond that, we have claims on everything else. We don't have claims on Hampshire, but well, you know, once we take Somerset or Gloucestershire, 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 I think is how someone said it's pronounced uh, in the comments, actually. Um, then we'll be able to get claims on literally everything for the next war. So, let's see what we can take. Yorkshire, definitely want. Uh, March is Gwynedd. Glamorganshire, Cornwall, Somerset, Gloucestershire, Gloucester, whatever it is, Derbyshire. Oh, look at that. That's so satisfying. That's literally every single thing that we had a claim on as well. Wait till next month. Look at that peace deal. That's beautiful. That's so much land. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to claim literally every single other province that they have for the next four. And they are the only ones that can join a coalition, which is actually a little surprising, but amazing nonetheless. Okay, let's real quick come in here, real quick like. Uh, create a vassal, and we want to release whales, or we could actually just do Cornwall <laughs> and feed them all of the Welsh land, but no, we'll do, uh, we'll do whales. Why not? Uh, and then, hey, whales, I'm gonna go ahead and give you some land. Grant Province, Marches. I'm going to give you Marches, why not? I'm also going to give you Wales, another province. I'm going to give you Cornwall. There you go, look at that. Look at glorious Wales. Um, let's go ahead and vassalize the rest before we lose our claims on them. Only four other provinces, and look at that. Look at that. That is quite impressive, I must say. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Craigasm in the chat, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do this. Take you out of there. Oh, that's a lot, actually. Excuse you, sir. Why did they fire so quickly? That's weird. Uh, no, I... Oh, we became a great power? Nice. Ireland, the great power. We are the greatest of powers. I don't know what that accent was supposed to be. Uh, no, you can't be a march. I'm sorry. I know you want to be a march, but you can't be. I gotta vassal... I, I mean, I gotta annex you to... You know, to get the achievement. I actually might not have to. I, I, they might, it might count as a vassal, too. But, uh, I'm not gonna risk it. Okay. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We lost all of our claims. We already paid for it, though. Paid for them, though. But I was actually waiting for the... On purpose for them to leave, just in case it would have, like, affected uh, our claims. But no, we're good. Um, let's go ahead and just go on the highest. London, obviously. Beyond London, Essex. Beyond Essex, Kent. 
or Oxfordshire, then Lincolnshire, and then then Hampshire, and then Norfolk. Norfolk? I don't know how they say it actually. Um, so yeah, so those two certainly. Hmm. And when does our truce with the UN? 57. Okay, very well. Oh, our colonists are both back. I forgot about that, actually. You declared on Abenaki without any... While you have zero army. Good good job. Good job, Colonial Canada. Good job. Um, bring you back up to here. Let's go ahead and uh, split you guys up again. Seems fine by me. You guys, I'm gonna take you out to protect trade again. And the North Sea, fine, that's fine. Um, yeah, that war is pretty uh, quick and painless. And now we pretty much just gotta wait. <laughs> Not much else to do. Mighty Ireland. Mighty, mighty Ireland. Your power reigns supreme. Yes. Oh, yeah, Morgan Freeman. That's not a very good impression. Mm-hmm. Um. We could use some diplomatic aid. Yeah, there you go. It'll help us get done with our uh, ideas quicker. We'll go ahead and do that as well. Um, and then I will lower our army maintenance. There we go. There we go, boys. 1144, 1144. Nice. Uh, I think we need 35 for the next one with them. Yeah. Uh, I'll do that. Okay. I'm not super worried about that. An admiral... Uh, what is our leaders at right now? Yeah, we'll just do that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll state it up, why not? We have some extra admin points right now. Once this one finishes, we can do that as well. Mm-hmm. Hmm, we already have English as a promoted culture. Lovely. I do kind of, I did kind of like the idea of possibly converting the whole uh, country to <laughs> to <laughs> to uh, Irish. But hey, After Effect, welcome to the stream. How you doing? How you doing? I like the poetry, Mia's. Doomsday. There we go. Nobility wants some more land, huh? Here you go, nobility. There you go. Um, yeah, we're still losing money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why, why, why is that? Hey, t tech cost down is actually quite good. Probably because we're over the naval force in it, huh? Yeah, that's why. And it's with heavies. There we go. Now we're making money. I'm pretty good. I don't. I think huge problem is the only person in only other person in chat right now that's actually uh, been actively chatting at least. But uh, I'm pretty darn good. Uh, no class tomorrow, being uh, Martin Luther King Day, so I'm just gonna spend my night uh, relaxing, you know. You know, might you know. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and do like blockade impact on siege. Why not? No, I probably should have done the ship trade power propagation. Propagation. Okay, well, we can annex you in like eight years or something. So we're just gonna kind of, I think, like speed through time now uh, until we get to the uh, until we get to the the point where we can uh, until we get to the point where we can declare on the, on England again on the English scum again. Uh huh. We will have to fight some rebels, it looks like. Maybe not, maybe not. Let's see. Mm 
No, we shouldn't have to. Wait, oh, yeah, actually, unless that was a negative and I misread it. Oh no, we should be good. Mm hmm. But yeah, I think we're gonna finish with this uh, this achievement today. Yeah, sure.